it's a God-given talent. Mm -hmm. So whenever we see a problem, we try to solve it practically. Warning, please give way. Testing the flow of the bio-robotic hand system under self-testing. They say they needed no classroom to hone their God-given talent. We, we didn't continue to university due to financial constraints. As you all know, the birds of the same feathers flock together. We, start, we combined our effort and started solving the, the challenges facing the community. Either in energy security, we are diverse. Their main aim being to help persons living with disability in the society. System under self-testing. Testing the chest interface devices. One, phone call connections. Check. One million people living without an arm or a leg in Kenya. So that's when we started discussing and we went to the practical form about it. On how can we help them in, in aiding their mobility in aiding their day-to-day -day activities. This saw them come up with this prosthetic arm that receives commands from the brain just by the user thinking of what they want the arm to do. The arm that we have is a prosthetic arm which the way you think when we have a, a, BM, a BCI gadget that you put in your head so the way you think will act according to it. If you think to lift your hand, it will lift the hand. If you think to wave or to move the, light, the arm from left to right, it will do according to your desire. They tell us that with this technology, a person with no arms can drive a car. When you think Turn left, you can turn left, turn right, leave us, start, start the engine, maybe also change the radio. One can also switch on and off lights in a room. By just thinking, you can change the TV station, maybe from this station, maybe from K24 to another station. And for someone who needs to use their computer, this technology will equally help them. However, lack of quality material is a major challenge, forcing them to use wood and old computer components in the hope that someday they will be able to afford better material. Wood, plastics that are locally available. The components, we do it hard dynamic programming, using the components we find in the old computers, the old laptops. We go sourcing them to the people making electronics, who repair electronics. Mm -hmm. We go sourcing them to the village, to the village and towns where people have discarded the, the, those items. Mm -hmm. They are now calling on the government and other stakeholders to come in so that together they can aid persons living with disability in the country. Because the UN, the USAID, the, the Kenyan government, the industrialization and the trade department to come through to help us to make this to be in a reality so that we can make in mass production so that we'll give rise to the economic growth of our country. This could be a new dawn to persons living with disability just if different stakeholders could come in to enable persons living with disability have such technology for them to go about their daily activities as usual. Robi Omondi K24 in Kikuyu, Kiambu County.